Hey everyone, welcome to Crate Myrtle Row. My name is Lisa. It has been a while since I have been on here doing a haul or basically any videos and I apologize for that. It's just been very hectic around here. And I mean, I, I've i had some sickness, you know, caught this upper respiratory thing that knocked me out for a while. My daughter moved from Arizona back to the East Coast here and she says she's about three and a half hours away from me now, so I'm so excited. So we were helping helping her move. And then the other exciting news, oh, I can't wait to tell y'all. I'm gonna be a grandma, yay! <laughs> it's my first grandbaby and I am so excited. I cannot wait and she's expecting a little boy in May. So very excited for that. But it just a lot of things, some other family members having some health issues that you know, been helping out with and stuff. So it's just been a lot of things taking up time that, you know, so I just didn't, didn't feel like doing videos. But anyhow, I got a pretty good size one today for you guys. And yes, as if you notice, it's still Thanksgiving <laughs> decor in my house. This is not normal. I normally decorate like the day after Halloween for Christmas, but because of so many things going on this year, it's just not happened. And, you know, and then when I got sick, th that made me so weak feeling. I just did not care to do anything. I barely, you know, did housework, much less change out decor. So hopefully I can start getting that going after Thanksgiving here pretty quick. Being that I'm doing it later. <laughs> I know that's not late to most people. It's normal when you decorate. I don't know how much I'm going to put out. I normally do a lot. My living room, my kitchen, my dining room, everything. I'm not sure exactly how much of it I'm going to do this year, but I will share whatever I get done. But let's just get into this video. Okay, the first things I have to show, and I've, I've got a little bit of a mixture. Some things from thrift stores, some from estate sales, and then I a lot of things I've bought off of eBay and then some things that I have that I got off of, on clearance at Hobby Lobby that's Christmas related. So, but the first thing I'm going to show you that I got at um, an antique store actually is this big peach basket and I paid $10 for it. And I thought, how cool would that be to set one of, you know, because I use those skinny trees. So I thought it would be cool to use that set one of the trees in that or you know just have it on my front porch for decor reason okay the next thing i got off of facebook marketplace is four of these big wooden crates and my christmas tree in my living room actually i use one like this i think it's just a little bit bigger instead of a tree skirt my tree sits down in it because it is a almost like a pencil tree. It's very skinny and I love it like it very rustic, but I bought these from a local, um, local guy that used to own a peach shed and farm and all this stuff, orchards, I guess you'd call them. And I mean, he's older fella and he was selling them off. And it turns out that his son and I go to church together or his, or his whole family, his son's family and all. We all go to church together and we went to high school together. So we know each other. I'd, I had never met him, but he was a very sweet old man. And so I got four of those from him. And some of them have writing from our local town on them. Next thing I forgot to show in my last haul. And again, this came off of Facebook Marketplace is these milk glass lamps. I got two of them. They're identical. So I just brought one in here and both parts light up like you can turn the switch and just this glow or just that glow or both of them. And I love that. And I got both of them for $20. And I just had a fit over that. Just love that very cottagey Victorian look. Um, I'm still haven't redone my bedroom in the look that I'm wanting to do with that cottage look. But so now I'm saying after the first of the year, Maybe that's what I'll concentrate, repaint my bedroom and changing out some of the decor in there. So one of the other things I got for my bedroom, because I'm wanting to go with that kind of shabby cottage chic look, is I found this at an estate sale. And it's made in Italy. And I just thought it was so cool. 
just a piece of pottery. You could put, you know, flowers in these areas if you wanted to, but I loved that um, pink color to it. So I'm gonna try to go with like pinks and blues and greens, all that real soft cottagey look in there. And um, I think I paid $12 for that. Okay, next thing I have, let's see which way I wanna go here, is this big, duck i loved him and it said 30 dollars on it but i got it for 15 at an estate sale and it's it's like a plastic um type material but i just i loved the way he was painted and he looks like he's made of wood and he will be very pretty in my decor huge but nice <laughs> and then another estate sale find was this old jar i don't know what it was supposed to be but anyhow, I loved it because it still had the label on it. And it has a corn cob stopper in it. And it was $10. If I'd have waited a couple of more days, I could have got the half off sale at the estate. But I was afraid this one would get gone. He had a bunch of them, but only a few had labels and stoppers. So I knew those would probably get gone first. So I went ahead and paid that money for it. And it needs cleaning up a little bit there. But that would be real pretty using in this fall decor. Okay, let's see which way we want to go here. Okay, this next item is a box full of ornaments. So there's like 20 something of these little candy canes. And then there's all kinds of like, it looks like cookies, the gingerbread cookies and stuff and then like the gingerbread man and i mean this this box is full of those and then it has a lid so the the storage box itself is nice and looks like a gingerbread house and i paid 12 dollars for the box of all that and i forget how many ornaments there's a lot of ornaments in there y'all know my love of honeybees and pots so I found this for $2.99, the little pot, and that's all made together, but I just loved it. It's like a little bee skip thing. And then, as you know, I love my bunt pans. You can't see them, they're kind of up there above, but y'all know I love the bunt pans. And this one was very unusual and it's small. It's a small one there. And it's, um, it's one of the Nordic brands and it was $5.99. I thought it was really cute. One of the things I'm wanting to do on my dining room table, don't know if I'll get to it this year, but what I had in mind is making it like Mrs. Claus Bake Shop. I've got tons of cake plate risers and stuff and lots of the fake um, donuts and cu um, cupcakes, stuff like that. And I could put this on something, you know, to be like a little cake. So that's kind of my idea because I do, in my kitchen and dining room, I do more of a um, gingerbread or candy cane food related Christmas decor in there. So we we'll use that. And with that in mind, I found this um, and I paid $6 for it. It's vintage icing set, but I loved the box and it's, it's still in there, all the pieces. Well, most of the pieces are still in there, but I just, I mean, it's rusted and all. I wouldn't use it, but I loved the looks of it to sit on the table with that kind of bake shop theme in mind. And then a couple other things I got to do that with too. And this was $2 and it was an old, I mean, it's I think from the eighties, maybe log cabin syrup tin. I thought that would be cute with that theme. And then this old cocoa tin. And I think I might have paid $10 for this tin. Which, I mean, find it. And this is a, an authentic old tin. It's not one of the reproduction ones. And, you know, they're hard to find. Especially ones that have cocoa and stuff like that on them. So I thought that would be really cute to use in that decor. And then um, I could put it up above my cabinets over here in the kitchen. Um, any other time of the year. Just for looks up there. 
Okay, the next thing is this little set of bowls that I just thought were so cute because they're like little nesting. So like two cup, one cup, but just to display them as a nesting set. So you got that and then the, the smallest one I thought would be adorable because it makes me think of like the little Pyrex dishes. And I got the whole thing for $3. thought that was so cute. All right, let's see. Okay, next is this big, like, I don't know, corbel type of thing. <laughs> just to hang on the wall. It was $30. Yes, I know that was a good bit to pay for it, but I just loved the detail. And it's, it feels like wood, but not solid wood. So I think it's more of a type of plastic. But I just loved it. And of course, you would have the shelf when you hung it on the wall to put something if you wanted to. But I wish they'd have had a pair of them, but they only had the one. And I'm gonna um, paint it up a little bit more, add some more brushing of colors and maybe some gold in there or something. But somewhere in my living room, that was going to go in there eventually. Another item I got kind of with Christmas in mind is this Afghan. I just thought those colors, and it, it's a good size, like maybe a full size bed fit across the top of that. But I just thought that was real pretty with those pretty greens and stuff. And I like to use these on the backs of my um, rocking chairs and stuff like that throughout my home. So that'll be coming handy for Christmas. All right, let's go ahead and do some of the other Christmas items. Now these next few items I bought off of eBay. And I kind of consider that thrifting too because they're all used and, you know, you can bid on them or you just buy them outright. But it's, you know, about like getting thrift store. But y'all know I love my kissing figurines. And look, these aren't only kissing, they're hugging. And they are salt and pepper shakers. Love those. And I don't remember exactly what I paid for all of them, but I don't think I paid more than $10 for any of them. Some of them I think I got maybe for $8. If you like these things and you want to look for them, keep scrolling because there'll be hundreds of them on there. And you might see one that you'll come across and they want $15, $20 for. Keep scrolling and you might come across someone else selling the exact same thing for $10. You know, so it's just different, different vendors or people sell it for different prices. So I always just keep, I'll favorite it so I can go back and find it. But I just keep looking until I make sure that I'm not paying double on one. And then this set, also a salt and pepper shaker. So cute. I know I have a lot of these. Those of you who've watched my past Christmas videos, you're probably thinking, Lisa, you don't need any more of those kissing Santas, but yes, I do. I do. I'll always need those. There's always a place I can find for those. And these are not salt and pepper shakers, I don't think, nope but they're supposed to sit on a bench. And I do have a set very similar, but not exactly. So I needed these too, because they're not exactly the same, but they sit there and kiss. Gotta find me a little bench or something. I'll probably just sit them on my windowsill, but I love those. And then this next set, they were hugging and I thought that was adorable. And they are salt and pepper shakers, but that is so cute. Can't wait to put those out. So those are all of my eBay purchases. And then this next thing, this came from Michael's and I think it says $29.99, but I'm thinking they were 60% off. I can't remember exactly what theirs was at the time, but it's a cooking Santa. I collect all kinds of, any Santas with baking or cooking related thing going on and I put them all together. So loved him. And then Hobby Lobby, you know, of course, has 65% off of their Christmas or maybe even more now. So this was $7.99 originally, and it's like a little cup with the gingerbread and stuff in it. Again, that will go down my center of my table. And then this was, I think it says $16.99. This was from Michael's, and I think 60% off of that but it's like the little cupcake and the gingerbread. Loved him. And this one was from Hobby Lobby, a little s'mores. 
thought that would be so cute. This next item, I bought this new at um, Aldi, actually today when I was out there. But they have this set of the Santa mugs and they have some that's two Santas. One's, both eyes are open and of course one just like this one. But I like the one with the Mrs. Claus because there's six of us in, you know, me and my husband, my daughter and her husband, and my son and his fiance. So six of us, so three boys, three girls, for Christmas to have um, hot chocolate and all. And we're gonna do something this year that we've never done. I actually bought the um, gingerbread house kits that they're already pre-assembled. You just gotta decorate them. So I got those for the girls to do and a gingerbread, well, I'll show you. And it's a truck <laughs> for the guys to do. And we're gonna have a day that we're sitting here and we all decorate our gingerbread houses and the guys do the trucks and have our hot chocolate in our mugs and be happy. <laughs> Those, the gingerbread things came from Walmart. All right, the next thing, and I thrifted this. I don't know the price. I wanna say he was $6 or something, but it's a teapot. Santa, and there is the hole for the pot and the handle. But I thought he was really cute because of the gingerbread thing. And then continuing with Christmas, I have this, um, I don't see a price on it. I think it was, oh, there it is, $3. Little candle holder so I can sit a candle up here and sit that around. And I may add some little berries or something I don't, I don't know that he actually went with this garland, but, but he's in it and it thought it was pretty. So I might add some pics of Christmas stuff there or just take him out of it and have him sitting around by himself. Don't know how I'm going to do it. And then this little thing, it looks like a wooden candle, but it's like canvas, like somebody made this and then painted it and then did the texture on it and put it in the little candle holder and then got the little jute string for the wick. And I just thought that was cute and it was $2. All right, next is this little oil lamp that someone's converted to an electric lamp. It did not have the little globe part. I could probably research and find a globe to fit this if I wanted to. But what I'm thinking about doing is changing this bulb out to one of those that looks like a flickering flame and then just let it be open like that. I thought that would be pretty on a shelf or back in a, tucked in a corner somewhere during the holidays. It's very pretty. And I don't see a price. I think it was $3. Oh, one other thing for Christmas I forgot to show, and I paid 50 cent for these, and it was just a set of little gingerbread cookie cutters. All right, next is the scale. I love old vintage scales, and I have a whole collection of them, all kinds of colors and sizes, and this one was $3, so it had to come home and join my collection. <laughs> and then this I paid $2 for, Y'all can see the ring light here. But I just love these um, concave mirror, mirror, yeah, concave mirrors. And I have a big one of these that's like this big out on my back porch, like right behind this wall here. So I think I'm going to paint this one up a little bit and add it to the side of the big one or somewhere out there too. Love that. And for $2. Let's see. Where do we want to put you? And then I love enamel wear and the green is what my Hooser cabinet has around the edge of it is the green. So, and I don't see them that much. See a lot of white with black trim or red trim, but don't see the green that much. So for $2, I thought I could use him in my decor somehow. And then finally, my absolute favorite thing that I bought out of everything I've got here is this jadeite bowl. Got this at a um, estate sale and I paid $31 for it. Again, 
Could have waited to the half off day, but there's no way this would have stuck around that long. I mean, it was the only piece of J-Dot they had. And it was at a house. It was an 1880s house. It was, it was so cool, all the old stuff they had. But only one piece of J-Dot. And when I bought it, the guy that runs the auction, he said he had his eye on it. And he knew if that didn't sell, he was buying it himself. So I'm glad I got it. And I just love J-Dot. And this is a vintage one. And I'm going to use it. I have an old vintage mixer, sunbeam mixer that was my grandmother's, and it came with milk bowl, uh, milk glass bowls. But just as something to change it up, I think I'm gonna put this for Christmas under there um, and, and use more of my J-Dot out with my Christmas decor. But love that bowl. Well, that's all I have of my haul this time, and I know it's a little bit long. I had a lot of stuff I've been holding on to and just waiting until I felt like actually putting on makeup and fixing my hair and standing in front of a camera because that's how bad I had felt with this virus that went around. I hope if any of you get it that you recover quickly or pray that you don't get it at all because, and it wasn't COVID. I tested twice. It wasn't that. Um, it's just all nasty and wasn't the flu. Just old nasty respiratory stuff but anyhow that's it for now i hope to get um my christmas decor out by this weekend i don't do black friday shopping i, I can't handle that many people in a place so i will probably spend my black friday decorating for christmas and i will be sharing those videos in the weeks coming up and so y'all have a very blessed day and a very very blessed Thanksgiving. Hope you get to enjoy it with your family and all. Bye.